started guys i want to tell you that we got a new trip coming up a new haunted road trip to colorado guys i have a lot of special surprises coming for you guys and actually i got a super good deal on the flight i've had a vpn for a while which is a virtual private network it allows me to have a very secure internet connection but also it allows me to be anywhere in the entire world on the internet see it uncensored so i can get better deals on flights hotels and to see things from the aspect of different countries that you just can't get on the regular internet. That's why I choose private internet access. They are the largest no log VPN in the business, guys. Your internet company limits you to only what they want you to see. And they keep a record and a log of everything that you do. With private internet access, it eliminates all that. They're gonna give you unlimited access to over 10,000 servers in over 70 different countries. And what I personally like about it the most, guys, is how easy it is to use. I thought using the VPN service, there's so much you have to do. This is the best part. It works on all devices, whether your iPhone, your Android, your laptop. You can connect up to 10 devices with one account, and it's as easy as pressing a button. And if for anybody out there that's ever had a problem with Netflix or Hulu or Disney Plus in the regions, guys, it even unblocks all those services. They make it so simple, so easy to use. Backed up with a 30 day money back guarantee, they're offering the fam an awesome deal right now. If you can benefit from this service, they have given the fams a great deal. They're gonna give you two years plus three free months. All that for $2.59 a month. $2.59 a month, that's not bad. At the end of the day, guys, whether you're going to connect to different hotspots out there and you want to make sure that no one can get access to your equipment, or if you don't want your internet company to know exactly where you're at and exactly what you're doing at all times, you need a VPN, guys. And PIA is the best service out there. It is a service that I will be using myself for years to come. And you can feel safe and secure on all your devices, guys, knowing that private internet access always uses protection and will always protect you. Room 6121. This is the room, guys. So we already checked in, got our stuff in here, guys. And, uh,. It's a really cool room. We actually have this tub over here. And you said you found blood in there? Yeah, there's Can a you... blood stain. I'll show you right here. <laughs> like, I don't know if that's uh, just bad housekeeping or well, just excited, bad... excited, right? Yeah. When we got here, I'm like, oh, there's a tub. Look at that. What is that? Is that blood or is that not blood? I don't know. I can't tell. I don't know what that, that is. It's weird, but it's like in it. Check out our view from here. But yeah, that's a cool little tub. So you were saying, Chels, that when you were in here earlier, you were filming uh, in a loan challenge, right? And what, what exactly happened? So I was filming in a loan challenge and I was sitting over here actually. So first what happened was I was sitting in this room. Mm -hmm. This room. I was sitting in here, right over here, and that pops open by itself. Wow. Yeah, the whole cabinet just popped open. Does this noise sound familiar? Yeah, last. Well, uh, I'm telling you. Yeah, that's crazy. So the front desk lady was telling us about a story of a husband and a wife that stayed in this room. Apparently the wife woke up and saw an apparition, which um, really scared her. They ended up wanting to leave and they got a different room but the front desk person said that other people have experienced things in here, TVs turning on, phones ringing and nobody's there. Um, so we're trying to see what we can find out. But it's definitely a creepy place. What was that? Whoa. Did you get that? Yeah, I got that. I wasn't even recording. It sounded like something was coming from this way. I heard knocking this way. Which way? This way. Oh, I thought it came from that way. I don't know. <laughs> that was really, I mean, really strange though, for sure. So we got a really nice view from out here also. 
checking that out. What happened? With the, um... With that, this popped open by itself. I was just doing, like, my intro, talking about the place, talking about our trip, and that pops open by itself. Dude, that is really freaking creepy. Didn't you say something about a TV turning on or something, too? So I was sitting in the tub for a spirit box session, and the TV turned on. Yeah, and I, I mean, I I you thought it was, she thought it was me. I was packing my bag over here. Yeah. TV came on. I came over here and I'm like, what the heck? You want, you want to know how outside and the freaking back. remote was way over there. Exactly. The no, I wasn't anywhere back. by the remote. You could even look at my video because I panned over here and the remote's over here and you weren't even in the room. Is there any spirits in this room with us? I'm going to take the spirit box out, guys. I don't have a speaker because the speaker broke. So we're going to get a new speaker today. But it should still be good enough to hear. Ooh, what was that? That was his day. Damn. But, um, there was a voice that came through saying that he tried to save somebody and that it was a mistake. Really? Yeah. Okay, so I should be able to hear this a little bit better when I listen back later, guys. But is there any spirits in this room with us right now? Ooh. Almost said like yeah. Mm -hmm. Can you tell us your name? Something, Something came in. Like Mark. I don't know. Can you tell us how many spirits there are in this hotel? What was that? Okay, we are really picking up some crazy noises right now, guys. No. Was in the this hotel has 400 and I think 4,400 4, rooms. This is a really large place. We think this is the window that somebody jumped out of a long time ago. Um, oh my God, you're getting the same no voices that I heard over here. Really? The woman and the man. Can you tell us who you are? Really coming through. It's really something. How did you die? I'm gonna have to listen back to this later, guys. I don't know if that sounded like I got shot. Did you try to save someone? Did you try to save someone's life? Oh. If somebody is apparently at the door, which is really strange. Hello, oh yes. God, like crazy. Whoa, what did that say? That's room service. No, that could there's a there's a there's a room cart right there, but they weren't here. They just knocked. Only like somebody knocking on the door and running. That's There's literally really a knock on the door and you open the door. And I know. Here. That's what I'm saying. There's nobody there. Like I seen the, the cleaning cart over there, but that couldn't have been her because she, unless she jumped over there in two seconds. No. Because no literally way. right when I opened the door, like what, three seconds before I opened the door, it knocked really loud. That is freaking crazy. Okay, I don't, I don't know, guys. That was, that was really strange, though, for real. So, on one of the haunted sites, I'm reading some stuff about the hotel. It says staying in a hotel is always different. is always a different experience from your house. If you're worrying about those things that go bump in the night, check out these top most haunted hotels in Las Vegas. When the Luxor when, was being constructed, some say between two and seven construction workers died uh, when a well, uh, when, when a wall fell on them. Did you know that? When they were constructing this place, a wall fell and killed seven of the construction workers. Can you say that one more time? The, so when they were building this place, a wall fell on workers and seven workers died 
construction workers who died before they even finished getting this hotel up and running. Oh my god. That is crazy. It says That's the Luxor is also said to have between has built in a popular burial site that mobsters regularly used. So wow. There's a burial site here? I guess so, because Oh, it's been built on a popular burial site that mobs are used. So I guess a lot of mobsters buried bodies right here where the Luxor was. Um, must have been way back in the days. So there's um, dead bodies underneath? Yeah. There Probably are like unsolved cases. It says there's guests that have experienced dark figure, a dark figure standing at the foot of their beds at night. Now that's what that lady told us about the one woman and the husband that saw the apparition here yeah. in this actual room though. Um, doors opening and closing on their own in a eerie whispering voice coming from nowhere. Outdoors near the memorial, which is dedicated to Bugsy, people have encouraged his ghost. It says this is a great site for gambling, but if you're looking for a ghost, you'll find them as well here. If you happen to be staying on the 10th floor and feel like somebody's falling close behind you, you're not alone. A voice that whispers into guests' ears, feeling coldness and other strange occurrences, static from televisions that are turned off, furniture which mysteriously moves in rooms, and phones ringing with nobody on the other end. That's crazy. We should go check out the 10th floor. What do you think? Yeah. All right, 10th floor. There's number 10. All right, guys, so we're gonna go to the 10th floor, and as you can see, there is a 13th floor listed on here. Like, very rarely do hotels put 13. Usually there is a 13th floor, yeah, but they just call it the 14th floor. And they go from like 12, 14. Yeah. You know? It's usually a bad omen. That's you what they say. But with this place, there's dead bodies. Dead bodies have been built here. And yet they're just like, okay. Okay, this is the 10th floor. Whoa, check that out. That's pretty cool. All right. Let's go check the hallways here. All right, so it's weird, guys, because all the research I've done on the Luxor is it's almost like they welcome death here. You know, they have 13 dead bodies in uh, an exhibition here where it's like, it's nothing about, it's all about the uh, human, human anatomy and dead bodies. But it's really weird that so many people have died in this place. Oh, check that out. Wow. Could you imagine if somebody jumped from here? That is incredible. Did you see that? I never saw that before while we were here. So that's where all the exhibitions are down there. So they have the dead bodies one. They also have a Titanic, like I guess it's like a Titanic museum where they actually have artifacts from the ship. They even have part of the ship here. We were gonna do it, but honestly, it seems more of like, you know, just stuff in glass cases. So I don't really think there's much to be able to film there. But a lot of people believe that exhibition is very haunted. I mean, everything about this hotel is pretty spooky, but check that out. I mean, that is really neat. I mean, where else do you get to stay at that's actual pyramid? Okay. That's really weird. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know either. This is the same place we were just at. Look, it says two. Why does it say two? Oh, because that's the second elevator. So you the towers. I don't know, but I don't know. Okay, that's weird. It said we're on one, but this is two. So how do we get down to floor number one? No. Dude, that's creepy. Uh, okay, I guess uh, t one really means two. So let's go to these elevators. That's so weird no, though. Floor one on the elevators. So it must just be, two B must be the building, second building. But so if we're, but if we're on, okay, okay I'm so confused. So if we're on floor one though, that should be like the main part where all the stuff is. Yeah. But somehow we ended up like... What, what in the world end? is going on? Dead end? This is like a total dead mind dead screw. End. I'm confused. I'm so confused. Like, okay. this makes no sense. I'm trying to figure out <laughs> Now we 
just oh god <laughs> what's this way is this just outside does it say alarm or sound mercy exit only yeah you're right <laughs> that wouldn't be the first time okay i am really confused though because guys we've been on floor number one several times since we i mean we've been here for a day and a half now and floor number one has all the main stuff like that's the main floor where everything is the casino everything but for some reason it doesn't seem to be over here okay i still have no idea we've just been walking around so the best thing i can think of is walk down one of these hallways uh and go that way i mean i mean i guess we're in a quarter maybe the main floor is like cut off on this side I don't know. We're gonna go find out. Wait, I think I just seen somebody walk around that freaking painting thing. Where? Down like this way? There, like there might be another small hallway. You're Wait. Floor. Like the oh, main. Out. <laughs> okay. Like the casino. That area. black wall that you saw there. Uh -huh. Walk around that black wall. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. Super And confusing. it'll lead you straight out into the casino. Awesome. Oh, thank okay. you. Wow. Check that out. That's pretty cool. Oh, jeez, that's loud. Oh, wow. Check that out, guys. Wow, that's really cool. All right, fam, that's gonna be the end to the video. As you saw, it was not a very long video. Definitely wasn't one of our craziest videos. It was an older video that I had actually just recently found and uh, yeah, I figured why not get it up for you guys. And I did not wanna miss my schedule uploading on Fridays, Mondays, and Wednesdays, guys. So, hey, I got it up and uh, I'm gonna have an all new crazy banger for you guys on Monday. I can't wait. And don't forget, this Sunday is Savage Sunday number 100 and you guys don't want to miss it love you guys appreciate all the love guys uh even though my hair looks like this <laughs> i love you guys till next time peace yeah i need a haircut oh my god chelsea